Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, whether you love it or hate it, there's no denying Fortnite's popularity and as a free game, it's often my go-to benchmark for older hardware. The thing is, it's not as easy to run as it looks, and if you decide you want to play the game with the minimum stated Intel HD 4000 graphics, for example, then you are going to run into some issues. As of the latest update though, at the time of this video, Epic Games have introduced a new performance mode available under the game's graphical menu and found as part of the rendering mode selection. This lowers the overall graphics quality even more, so if you have a modest gaming rig already, then your best bet is to just lower the settings or drop the resolution and leave the render mode on DX11 or DX12. Let's say though that you're using a system like this one here, which is running a quad core i5, four gigs of RAM, and relying on nothing but the HD 4000 iGPU in games. Even when you Using the low settings, with 80% of 720p resolution, the game performs with less than 30 frames per second. Dropping the resolution scale even lower makes your enemies much harder to see and doesn't really help out at all that much regarding performance increases, likely due to the 4GB of RAM. There are also some pretty wacky graphical glitches, but this is something that I noticed regardless of enabling performance mode or disabling it. Speaking of which then, let's keep in mind these performance figures as we enable the performance mode from the graphical settings and restart the game. So with the performance mode activated, it's clear that there have certainly been some graphical sacrifices, but the game is now running with over double the frame rate that it was previously, on average anyway. There are still some dips here and there, but overall the experience feels far better, and I'd rather accept the graphical sacrifices in exchange for a more fluid experience, as extra frames can mean the difference between getting killed or getting the kill. All of today's benchmarks were recorded from around the Pleasant Park area, as this seems to be pretty intensive in terms of locations. The 1 and 0.1% lows are also improved, though we do still see a few dips in busier places. This system configuration is almost representative of the minimum specs suggested by Epic, although they do state an i3 at this point in time. Venturing into different parts of the map actually meant a frame rate of up and over 100 FPS in some situations, which is a world of difference when you consider just how badly this was doing beforehand. This really is a nice inclusion for many of you low-end gamers out there who have been struggling to maintain smooth frame rates in Fortnite. But now let's try Full HD 1080p with 100% resolution scaling. If you don't want to sacrifice the resolution, but don't mind sacrificing the graphics, just what improvements can we expect? Well, here we're running the game at 1080p with full scaling. It's unplayable by any definition of the word, and not even the more open and sparse areas of the map can do anything to boost performance. We're hovering at around 10 frames per second some of the time, but the average is reported at 8. DX11 mode does give us better 1 and 0.1% lows than DX12 mode as well, which gave us a very similar average, so yeah, I stuck with DX11 here. Again then, let's switch to performance mode from the graphical options and restart the game once more. Now surprisingly, we were seeing four times the performance on average, although the stutters were still quite noticeable, especially when engaging with enemies or venturing into those more built up areas of the map. The resolution scale is still set at 100%, but overall things do look a little less defined, so I'm not sure that there aren't some resolution changes going on behind the scenes, but it still looks better than dropping things to 900p. Actually, I think I'm wrong about the resolution thing. I think it's just the overall drop in quality that makes things look a little less sharp overall. As I said before, I'd rather accept these graphical downgrades and play with a smoother FPS, especially in an online competitive shooter like Fortnite. I'm happy to see the inclusion of this performance mode and I'd love to see more games use it, um, especially as it's an option that we're starting to see on the new consoles in some titles as well, where you can choose between 30 and 60 FPS for example. And that in turn will decide the graphical quality that's displayed accordingly. But there we go, this has been a quick look at the new performance mode in Fortnite. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful to any of you out there who are trying to run the game on lower end hardware. 
give it a try if you currently have an APU or something in an old laptop that isn't quite up to running the game even at low because you might be surprised with just how well it does. If you enjoyed this video leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.